This is the most popular and the most searchable playwright error in the internet. Last year I wrote this article, Playwright Timeout 30,000 milliseconds succeeded, and it is still one of the most visited web pages on my website. In this article I'll explain the reason of these issues and how to fix it. And in this video let me show you a little bit more details how this issue happens and how to fix it in the framework. So here is a little test. Uh, Playground Bonder Academy, we're visiting the page and then trying to click Forms menu item, which I intentionally made with double S, which is incorrect locator. And let's see what actually gonna happen. So I'm running the test. Playwright launch in the browser. Okay, we see the form item over here, but if we are going back, we see that Playwright is thinking it's trying to find this web element so let me speed this up a little bit and here we go this is our error error locator click test timeout 30 milliseconds exceeded so now let's talk about a little bit details where are this 30 milliseconds coming from and why do we have this error so first of all 30 milliseconds is a default timeout in the playwright to execute a single test. Okay, so this is a maximum time that playwright gives you to run your test. And uh, when element is not found, like is this example, we're trying to click this forms menu item, playwright will wait up to the test timeout limit to essentially click this element right here. So it was trying to click it and it was waiting, 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 hoping that this element finally will be available and then be able to click it. But unfortunately it was not available. So we have a 30 millisecond timeout. And also this uh, error you need to read kind of in two uh, phases. So phase number one is the actual error. What happened? Usually it's locator click. It's the most typical issue when um, this error happens and then actually the error of how long uh, the timeout exceeded and then the second you need to read this grayed out area with more details what exactly happens it often gives you a clue uh, what playwright was trying to do uh, and during this process something went wrong Okay, in this example, we clearly see that waiting for get by text forms and we know like, okay, playwright was trying to find this locator, but was not able to. And then while waiting this locator, we exceeded the timeout of 30 milliseconds of 30 seconds um, uh, limited for this test. Now let me show you a second example. So I set up another long test and this test is intentionally uh, positive. So it should pass successfully. Um, if, uh, you know, we have enough time out, this test should pass because all locators are valid and working. So let me run this test and let's see what's going to happen. So test is running and what's actually happening in the browser right now, we have um, this page and you see loading delay. So we're clicking on this loading delay. It's artificially create the delay to load this page and then the cycle repeats again and again. And if we go back, we can see that this cycle repeats. We have some little wait in between and it's just running loop trying to complete five cycles. But something in the middle happened. Uh, look, we have again this error, 30 second timeout. Let me make it bigger. And now you see a bigger stack trace. So the same error, error click, 30 uh, milliseconds exceeded. But then look what actually happened during this process. So waiting for locator, locator resolved, attempting to click action, waiting for element to be visible. Okay, it's passed. To be uh, enable and stable, passed. Scrolling into view, done. Done scrolling, performing click action. Click action is done. And then the final step, waiting for scheduled navigation to finish. So the place where this test failed is during the process of waiting after the click to complete the navigation to the next page. But since we did not uh, complete our test execution all five cycles within 30 seconds that's set as a timeout for the test, that's why the test was technically just interrupted. And this type of error is the most difficult to debug because when you have a long test with a lot of steps and especially you run it on CI CD and in CI CD the test normally runs slower than on your 
local computer. And then you run your test and it suddenly fails in the step where you don't expect it to fail. You look at the log and it doesn't make sense. Why the test failed with 30 millisecond timeout, with 30 second timeout? Then you run this test again and it fails in different place with the same error. You run again and it fails in different place with the same error. And the reason is that just 30 seconds is not enough for your test to be completed. That's the simple answer. Usually they see this error in CI CD, like I said, because the test runs slowly. Okay, how to fix it? The approach number one is first of all, just literally increase the timeout. You go to the Playwright configuration file and here uh, type timeout like this and increase it from 30 milliseconds to let's say uh, 60 seconds, 60,000 milliseconds, like this. And now if I run the same test again, it will not fail because I give enough timeout for this test to completely run all five cycles that we currently configured over here and the test will pass because of that. So let's wait a little bit and I will speed up this video to complete. Yeah, you see, test passed successfully all five cycles going back and forth on our page completed because we increased timeout and it's not failing anymore. Uh, this configuration that I showed you is on the uh, global framework level, but you also can configure it per test. For example, some tests you have just a longer test and you need just those tests give more timeout. In that way, you just go on the test level and type test.set timeout and set the desired timeout that you want, for example, 60,000 milliseconds. And the timeout that you set on the test level will overwrite the settings that you set in the configuration level. And one more thing. So uh, sometimes you just need to have a longer timeout, let's say minutes or two or even three minutes if you have a very long end-to-end -end test. Uh, but you probably don't want to wait uh, two minutes to know that your locator is incorrect, right? It's just wasting of the time. If your test stuck somewhere because locator is incorrect, you will have to wait up to the limit of the entire test timeout to know that, hey, you have incorrect locator. In this case, it will be a good way to configure a separate action timeout, which by default in Playwright is not configured. So let me show you how to do that. So go into the Playwright um, config file and on the uh, use block over here, just add the configuration as action timeout like this. And let's say we're gonna put um, uh, two seconds as the action timeout. Action timeout means that this is the maximum time that any action that you perform on the page should happen. So for example, click or any other action operation should complete within two seconds. If this will not happen, the timeout will fire in the error and you will see the error, the timeout is exceeded. So uh, let's go back and this particular line, load delay, uh, it takes about five seconds uh, to navigate to a new page. So now we configured action timeout. So this step should fail even the global timeout for the test configured for 60 seconds. So let me run this guy and you will see how action timeout will uh, intercept the uh, test timeout. All right, test failed and look at this. Now we have timeout 2000 millisecond exceeded and this is related to action timeout that we have configured. All right, guys, I hope now it makes sense. Okay, so you have test timeout, you have action timeout. Configure test timeout uh, so it is enough to complete the entire test execution. If you need to increase your test more than like minute or so, it is a good way to configure additionally action timeout. Just not waste the time if you really have uh, issues with the locator. And also read the call log. This grayed out area will give you a lot of insights what actually happened and why the test failed. So this big area, read it line by line and it will give you understanding what actually went wrong. All right. I hope it was helpful, guys. Uh, if you like this video, subscribe and put the comments if you have any questions. Other than that, I'll see you in the next video.